Why does the universe take time to answer our manifestations? Okay, so we got a couple things to unpack here. So lag time. So there's always going to be a little bit of lag time when it comes to manifesting anything. And lag time is basically like a little bit of a time delay before you get what you want. It just depends on your mindset, your belief system, and what's going on in your mind. Um, for me, like, I always affirm that like I get whatever I want. Things are always working out for me fast and easily. I manifest fast and easily. Things always just like go my way. When I know that I want something or when I get a new idea or when I have um, a new desire, like a new download, a new thing that I want or a new type of person that I want to be, a new business that I want to start, a new person, a new SP, um, I literally just shift into the version of myself who already has it. Even if it's not in my 3D yet, I have mastered the art of literally just embodying the woman who has the healthy, committed, positive relationship, the woman who has the successful business and the money that's flowing easily and effortlessly into her reality. So I just shift into the God state, the goddess state, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, and I just decide that, oh, this is like who I am right now, even if I don't see it in my 3D. And I know and trust that it's going to come as a byproduct of me embodying this new version of myself. And then I also teach myself patience because like in the past, I've delayed my manifestation so, so much by doing a lot of checking the 3D or like trying to figure out like how it's going to come or try to like control the 3D. You can like catch yourself trying to control your the outcome by doing the most subtle things, like the most subtle things. And I mean, it's just different for everybody. Like, but you'll know when you study yourself and when you become a little bit more self-aware and when you focus on what it is that you're doing, <laughs> you can tell when you're forcing it or when you're trying to make it happen, trying to manifest um, and checking the 3D keeping score. Like, you got to just like teach yourself how to relax. You got to relax. Relax. <laughs> and focus on shifting literally like how would you feel if you already had what you wanted if you guys haven't already check out my video uh things to remember when manifesting because i actually am like reminding you guys of this and i'm looping it over and over so that you guys can program that into your mind like if you already had what you wanted you would be relaxed you would be not anxious you wouldn't be looking for it you would be calm you would be grateful and you would just be like relieved so i actively practice the art of gratitude, the art of feeling relaxed, the art of patience, um, and the art of being, you know, just like being the best version of myself, like being a positive version of myself, being um, just a very mature version of myself. Like I will continuously get the things that I want as a byproduct of just being a better version of myself. And I can't lie to myself. I know when I be fucking up and like not really being the best version of me. Like, let's be honest, we all know this. So it, it's not really um, like hard to tell when you can do better. So that's what Neville talks about when Neville says living in the end, like go to the end of the manifestation, like when in doubt, just go to the end. Um, and when I say the end, it means like you know, like your happy ending. What is your happy ending? What is it that you want? Do you want a successful, healthy, committed relationship? Do you want the money in the bank? Do you want that new car? Do you want that new home, right? Um, do you want a child, the career, a family? Like, what is it? So like, if you feel as though that the universe is taking time to answer your manifestations, that's because you're not living in the end and you're not embodying the version of yourself who has it already. Like, if you know your true power, you understand that you don't have to see it to be it. You can be it without seeing it and receiving it is a byproduct of being it. Claim it. It's yours. It's done. It's mine. It's done. I'm just going to keep going about my life, doing things that align with the version of myself who already has the thing in the 3D, and I'm just going to keep it pushing. Also, if I were you, I wouldn't affirm that the universe takes its time to answer your manifestations. Like, I would change my mindset and I would just affirm, like, I always manifest things fast and easily. Oh, my goodness. Like, I can't even believe how fast things just flow into my reality. I literally forgot that, like, I asked for this and here it is. What the hell? It came right on time. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. And I'm just going to keep manifesting even more things because now I'm so confident. I know my power. I understand that my thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions create. And when I'm patient, focused, and obedient, that is how I receive things faster. And that is how I sustain things. We manifest what we think, assume, and believe to be true. 
So if you believe that the universe is taking its time to answer your manifestations, the universe is just going to reflect back to you that belief system that you have, because you have to remember the 3D is only a reflection of what's going on in your mind. So if in your mind you are constantly focusing on, damn, the universe is taking so long to answer my manifestations. Damn, where's my manifestation? Damn, what, where is it? Why, why don't I have this yet? Why don't I have this yet? That is a lack-based mindset. If that's your thought process, then the 3D is going to reflect that exact thought process back to you. Basically, you're just going to keep receiving lack. So you're going to continue to be without. So you have to change the story. You have to change your mindset. You have to change your belief system. And you have to decide that like, oh my goodness, the universe answers my manifestations fast as fuck. So you really just have to focus on your self-concept and really pay attention to your thoughts. Again, your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions are creating your reality.